Hello guys on YouTube. How are you guys today? Well, I'm doing pretty good myself today, but today we're going to be talking about electrical code. In disclaimer today, uh, this stuff is very uh, dangerous. It can also kill you if you mess around with this and you do it the wrong way. I recommend you guys call any professional electrician to install any type of electrical work in your house, like outlets, switches, ceiling fans, light fixtures, anything of that nature, I'd recommend electrician. By the way, I've been doing electric, uh, electrical work uh, myself for many years. I know what I am doing and I know what I'm getting into. And I'm always constantly safe when I'm doing something like this kind of work. When anything is unplugged or disconnected from the main. By the way, this stuff is deadly. Alright guys? But for all you guys that don't know electrical, we're going to be talking about the different types of gauge wires and different circuits, uh, outlets, and the gauge of the wire that's properly terminated. For the type of outlet and circuit breakers. But one thing I want to really love to show you guys, if you really want to get into electrical, I'd recommend picking yourself up a couple of these electrical books. You guys can see now this one's a couple years old. This one's a little bit outdated now, but I'd recommend that you can find a new updated version of the electrical book that would be a little bit better for you guys to understand. There's a lot of electrical book. This one is a nice one as well. A very good electrical book for all you guys who want to know about electrical. But electrical is very, very dangerous, you know, guys. Very dangerous. Now, a lot of people don't understand this. On the reason why we have electrical code for the different types of gauge wire we use. Alright, on this side, we have a Romex uh, 12 gauge uh, heavy duty wire on this side. We have a flux cable here. This is what's in this uh, rubberized uh, sheath. This is actually a 14 gauge uh, soft cable or stranded cable. We also have a non solid cable right here. This is a 14 gauge uh, cable as well. This is for uh, 15 amp circuits, for 15 amp outlets. This is meant for 15 or 20 amp uh, circuits right there for higher uh, current, all right? Now we got a couple little things here. We got a couple circuit breakers and does a standard uh, 15 amp outlet and now on 15 amp outlet, a GFI. Now let's go ahead and pull this out. This, you will find this and your circuit uh, panel box. This is what the 20 amp circuit looks like. This is for this type of heavy gauge, 12 gauge wire. This is typically what will be in your box. But I don't recommend messing with your electrical panel and flipping out any of your breakers. Electricians have to do this for you guys. You can't do this yourself completely deadly. Alright? And here we have this one. This is a 15 amp uh, breaker, you guys can see. This is actually a 2 15 amp uh, breaker. It has two sides. Again, screws. This is the exact same thing. Goes in your uh, circuit breaker box. And don't mess with that. <laughs> very, very deadly here, guys. Can very, very hurt you guys. And can also end up uh, by death. If you don't know what you're doing, please don't do it. But we're going to talk about the cuddle code of the electrical system of these different type of wires. Now, you guys all know what this guy's stuff is. This is just a 12 gauge uh, wire here. This has a neutral, a ground, a bell ground, and a hot lead uh, in this Romex uh, cable. This is a salt strand of copper here, guys. This is not stranded cable here. This is salt copper. Now, this is meant for a little bit more heavier load, but you can still overload uh, your breakers. 
if you put too much uh, load and current and voltage and wattage on that one cable. Now here we have a 14 gauge uh, wire here. This is uh, this all and stuff that's in this uh, weight uh, sleeve jacket. You guys notice? I don't know if you guys can see that. So we may not pick up. This is a little bit thinner. Here's your neutral. Here's your barrel copper. And of course here's your hot. But the exact same thing goes with uh, electrical outlets like this. You guys can see. Here you have the hot side on these two sides. Right here, this is the hot side. It looks like it's silver, but those are actually the hot screws. Those are the brass screws. And we pan it around. And we have the neutral side where the big old long old uh, lead goes. And the funky little smelly face right here is your oath ground. And also, your oath ground is right beside uh, the neutral side of the plug. Now, on the back of these old, old, uh, newer style plugs, or some old, some new, do not ever use these push in connectors. Those come loose, those are not a good saw connection. Saw connection is putting the uh, couple, saw couple, around these terminal screws. Alright? And also a bit of more protection, electrical tape around the uh, electrical outlet. By the way, do not use a uh, stranded cable on these type of outlets. Uh, you could if you want, but make sure you use a crimp one style uh, hook crimp thing. It will be a lot better for the outlet itself. Now. Let's get into this protection circuit here. This protection circuit is what I made when I am doing electrical, when I am repairing lamps, or repairing anything else, or testing on pieces of equipment out. I want to make sure I am safe, and I, that's why I use this GFI. The exact same thing. We'll pull this guy up to you guys. You guys can see hot side, neutral side, and that funky little smelly side. Show with ground. Now, by the way, this is a metal box. This is oath grounded uh, as well. For any type of reason, the uh, GFI has a fault or some issue with the GFI a mixed function. I will not get hurt by having this plugged into the oath ground or the electrical system in my room. Now, here's a couple of tips for you. Alright, here we got this very uh, beefy style 15 amp uh, plug, and we got a 15 amp outlet, right? 125 volts. Very, very dangerous. Here you got that little smiley again. Little smiley. That's your gun. That's uh, your neutral. That's your hot. But you guys have noticed this whole plug is made out of brass. How do I know which side is which? I do know. Because I've been doing this for a very long time. On this side, this would be your neutral when you plug it in. You plug it this way, this would be your neutral. Right here. This is your hot, and that is your ground. Now, let's open this uh, box up here. By the way, I took out the uh, metal screws to save some time to actually take them out. You guys can see, it's tiny little metal screws, and I actually used that's a standard flathead screwdriver. Now, if you're having this plugged in, please make sure you unplug it when you are doing this kind of uh, stuff as well. We're going to open this up. This is all by wire code. Everything is protected, and that's the way it goes. So, guys, all right. Everything has to be a protected type of circuit. Alright, now, we got all this a lovely uh, bunches of wires here. Oh, that's going to be a really fun job to explain to you guys. For you guys that do not know what electrical is and what it does. Alright. Let's talk about the other thing here, guys. Alright, let's talk about this guy. This big, giant, green wire. This is called a pigtail. 
you guys can see, here we have our electrical tape and a wire nut uh, on the earth grounding. Alright, here we have the main earth ground. The main earth ground is right here. Okay, you guys can see it's a little bit thinner. Uh, this goes directly to the GFI's uh, main grounding system on the GFI outlet. You guys can see I have electrical tape around the screw terminals for when I pull this out. I'm not going to get hurt or electrical shock. And we have an arm pigtail. It goes directly to the main box, directly down below. Here we have the neutral is Snow White, by the way. That is your white wire that goes to the neutral side. Here you have the black wire. That is, say, you burnt your marshmallows and the stove. Okay, that is your live wire. That goes to the live side of the outlet itself. Now, when you're dealing with the exact same thing with one of these. Okay, a neutral ground and hot. Alright, but by wire code and by wire code for this type of box, it has to be earth ground for a couple of reasons. Because it's made out of metal. If it's not grounded, and I touch this box, and this wire ever came loose from this uh, GFI's terminal screw, and it touches this box, guess what? You're going to get a nasty shot for 125 volts of electrical current going through it. This is properly grounded and properly safe for me to touch and handle when it's plugged in or when it's not plugged in. Now, this is what I did. Ground, pigtail, main ground, ground on the inside of my box. Absolutely beautiful way this is set up. Wire nut and electrical tape. Do not forget those two. And your hot and neutral goes on to the outlet. The ground is not power. Ground is ground. Neutral is your return line. Hot is your feed line. That is why you get the power in your separate outlets in a separate boxes. Now, this is called 14 gauge wire. That's 12 gauge wire. And this is 14 gauge wire. There's a strand that's solid and solid. And for different items as well. Alright guys. I'm going to need to go ahead and put this guy back down here. And I think that's about it here. But for all you electrical dummies that don't know electrical, please, please, get electrical books for the safety of your family and yourself of doing electrical. And if you want to change anything in your house, call electrician. Electrician is certified to do all this kind of stuff. I am not an electrician, but I do tinkle with this kind of stuff myself. Alright guys, if you are brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please leave a comment down below. Please like, please share, peace out. Bye guys, well hopefully see you in the next vlog. Alright, later guys.